Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here with photo class number 274. Let's go. I'm sorry to interrupt today's class session, but I interrupt with great news. Gear Patrol, thank you, thank you, thank you, Gear Patrol. They purchased dpreview.com. Oh my goodness, you know now that DP Review is in good hands. Thank you, Gear Patrol. Thank you for purchasing DP Review from Amazon. I hope, along with the whole photography community around the world, that you keep all of the camera and lens reviews up on the website. Thank you, Gear Patrol. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is Carmine from New York, photographer here in the Big Apple. Since 1973, I'm bringing you 50 years of photographer experience for free because it's my way of giving back to the photography community, to those who want to learn and get better in their photography journey. All right. Zoom or Prime? It's your choice. And I'm going to teach you why Prime's are the way to go all right so this is a zoom lens you guys know all about it right it's very focal length in this case it's the nikon 75 to 300 okay but inside this zoom lens are dozens of pieces of glass that have to move in and out with a mechanism that keeps everything going smoothly the f-stop the widest for this lens is 4.5. Meanwhile, this prime is the Minolta 50 millimeter 1.7 with very few elements. All right, what's the big deal over prime lenses? It's very, very simple. To start, we have to know the definition of a prime lens. Simple, it's a lens with a fixed focal length. In this case, 50 millimeters. In this case, is the 85 millimeter. All right, so that's the definition of a prime. But what's important to you and me as photographers is what's the advantages of a prime lens over a zoom? The advantages of a prime lens are as follows, and please try and remember it when it comes time for you to buy a lens, whether new or used, for your camera. And this goes for all brands of lenses, whether it's Leica or Nikkor or Sony or Canon or whatever. The advantages of a Prime are that they generally are sharper than a zoom lens. Yes, they have less glass elements, like I just mentioned, which cuts down on a phenomenon in photography in lenses. It's called diffraction. And all you have to know about diffraction is that less diffraction is better than more diffraction. Okay. So a prime has less elements, therefore less diffraction. Generally, a prime lens can give you a wider aperture, like a 1.7 or a 1.4 or 0.75. They're wider than zoom lenses generally. Now, focusing is faster, whether manually or autofocus, because there's less weight, there's less elements to push in and out. Now, I am going to show you my photographs that I've taken with prime lenses. Here we go. And pay attention because I will give you the camera and lens combination for each of the following photographs. All right. All right. Let's get Since going. I'm holding the Sony with the Minolta 50 millimeter lens, let's start with this photograph. So it's the Sony A390 camera with the Minolta 1.7 50 millimeter prime lens. Here's the photo.
Next up, we have the D300, Nikon D300, with the Nikkor 50 millimeter F1.4 lens. Let's look at the following four photographs taken with this prime lens. All right, next up, we have three photographs taken with the Nikon D3. I'm still holding the D300, but it was taken with this lens, the 50 millimeter 1.4 Nikkor. Let's look at these three photographs taken with the Prime on the D3 camera. Next up, I want to show you the photographs taken with my Leica Q, which is out being loaned to one of my children. They have a photo assignment and they asked to borrow my Leica Q. All right. So this is with a prime lens. The Leica Q comes with a prime lens. It's the 28 millimeter F 1.7 Summulux Leica lens prime on the Leica Q camera. Let's take a look at these two photographs. Next up are two photographs taken with the 400 millimeter prime Sigma lens F 5.6 on the Nikon D3. Let's take a look at these two photos taken with the prime 400 millimeter Sigma. Right. Next one I want to show you is from this setup. This is the Nikon F5 film camera. The photograph, you're, the one photograph you're about to see was taken with a Kodak Color 400 film and the prime this prime, the 85 millimeter 1.4 D lens. So you saw my examples from a couple of different cameras and a couple of different primes. I encourage you whenever possible to purchase either used or new prime lenses for your camera because you'll have better quality photographs. Yes, there are zoom lenses that cost thousands of dollars that are sharp as well, but they can't get away from the fact that they have more glass in them. Glass steals light, glass steals information, glass steals sharpness, and glass adds more diffraction. And like we mentioned earlier, less diffraction is better than more diffraction. Okay. So subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. This has been Carmine from New York saying goodbye.